failure in our communities in a in large part is unacceptable, right? I think this is a big, this is a huge problem for not just kids, but for everyone mm -hmm. that failure is not something to reject. We don't necessarily want to sign up on the list to fail, you know, but we do want to make sure that failure is acceptable and because it's inevitable, right? If you take like, it's like death. If you look at death, as something that is unacceptable, but it is also inevitable, meaning that it's going to happen to all of us no matter what, then you're basically setting, you're like teeing yourself up for a lifetime of anxiety, thinking about fearing death, this thing that you're not supposed to want, not supposed to have, that's thought of as bad for, by all, everyone around you and your peers and mentors, but it's also going to happen to all of us no matter what, right? So it's about understanding that failure and overcome and, and facing challenge is never going to go away. Stress itself is never going to go away. These things are inevitable. We can't make them go away. All we can do is train ourselves to be able to overcome them better because our strength as human beings is not finding stability. Stability doesn't actually exist. It's about finding our ability to adapt and training our ability to adapt to whatever comes our way. The better we get at adapting, the better we get at being able to make ourselves feel like the stressors or the little things that come up on a day-to-day -day basis are really not that big a deal. And the better we get at helping ourselves recover and feel more close to the wholest version of ourselves that we can be. Yeah. And oddly enough, uh, I've heard uh, Dr. Andrew uh, Huberman talk about learning. And he said one of the biggest parts about learning is the failure part. In fact, it is the failure part where your brain starts to begin to produce the BDNF and grow neural growth factor. And that's where you start to build the neural networks is through the failure. So if you aren't failing or if you are avoiding failure or if you can't handle the failure, you just quit every time you try something new, you're really missing out on the most important part of the learning and growing process. Yeah, I would, I would generally agree with that. I think in addition to that, I, I wouldn't say we learn only when we fail, sure. but but yes, to that point, you are correct in that we we learn by doing new things and by doing new things, which generally are challenging because they're new to us, at least challenging a little bit, then that is the condition under which we force ourselves to build new neurons, new neural connections, to form new synapses, to actually be able to change our change our minds, right? And change the way our brains work, ideally for the better. Um, that neuroplastic response that Andrew Huberman talks about with uh, BDNF, which is brain-derived neurotrophic factor, for those who don't know, that facilitates learning and the formation of new uh, synapses and neural connections is induced by anything that in that is a, a newness in our lives. So newness can be facing failure, uh, which we haven't faced before, or it can be just doing something that we haven't done before with the opportunity to fail and accepting that that's okay, right? It doesn't have to be act that you have to fail to learn. Of course, failure is one of the best ways we do learn from our mistakes, but you can also fail and not learn from your mistakes if you choose to ignore what the learning moments are, right? So it's really about challenging ourselves with newness, with new experiences that forces us to think about ourselves and question ourselves and the way we think about the world in new ways that then gives us the opportunity for failure. And when that opportunity for failure is present and that newness is present at the same time in a safe environment, right? That is what I think is really setting up the, the fundamental uh, foundation for really powerful learning experiences that result in making us stronger over time.